For the last 6 months, I've been protecting my Samsung S24 Ultra with ESR's tempered glass, camera lens protectors for all the individual lenses, as well as their clear plastic case, which by the way has its own metallic kickstand. While the former two protection devices are still going strong even to this day, today I have decided to get rid of the latter, which is the back cover. In this video, I'll be replacing this transparent case by ESR with this Piggin Slim Armor MagFit back cover that not only incorporates the MagSafe technology, but this one also has a kickstand of its own. So without further ado, let's get on with today's video. Before we move on to the Spigen case, let's first take a look at my current ESR protection devices to find out exactly why I have decided to permanently retire this transparent case. Starting at the front, this one is the second out of the three tempered glasses that I received in the box. The first tempered glass that I had installed around 6 months ago had shattered into multiple pieces of all sorts of shapes and sizes after my phone decided to escape my pocket and fall on a concrete surface face down while I was getting out of my car one fine day. This incident took place not too long ago and I was extremely happy to know that the original screen of my Samsung S24 Ultra remained intact and scratch free as concrete is usually known to cause a lot more damage. Nothing happened to the rest of the phone, no bumps of any sort, no physical damage at all that I could notice. Might I add that I have managed to throw this phone around on different types of surfaces, unwillingly of course, over a dozen times already in the last 6 months. But the one and only time that there was any sort of damage was completely absorbed by the first tempered glass on that one particular occasion that I just spoke of. There is some noticeable damage to the paint here, especially on the sides of my phone. But that seems to be caused due to the extreme weather conditions here in my country. I think the paint of any product is bound to get affected at least this much in such hot and humid climates if there is any sort of plastic casing covering it at all time. For now, I don't find the need to replace this second tempered glass as there are just a few minor scratches on this thing. Nothing too much to worry about to be honest. Which means that I still have one more tempered glass left to use that I will use in the future should the need arise. And for this same reason, I decided not to buy the Spigen's tempered glass just yet. Let's now take a look at the lens protectors also by ESR. And honestly speaking, I have absolutely no complaints with these whatsoever. There are absolutely no scratches or bumps and all of these are still good as new since the first day of applying them on my phone. I am able to click and record clear images and videos even today and I've been using these cameras to shoot all of my latest in-car videos. Do check them out but after this video of course. So now let's take a look at the ESR clear case shall we? Starting with the kickstand, it still works pretty well even after 6 months of extensive usage of it every single day and this is probably the best thing about this case too. There is just a minor noticeable wear and tear here near the hinge but that is also completely fine in my opinion. Like I said, I have used this kickstand every single day for the last 180 plus days and this much of an issue is something that I can definitely live with. But what I cannot live with is this yellowish color that has now covered this entire case. I had bought this transparent case in order to see the absolutely beautiful titanium grey color of my phone every single day. But now with this yellow transparent case, my phone just looks downright disgusting. And this reason alone is strong enough for me to now completely discard this transparent case by ESR. So out with the old and in with the new. As you may have already guessed by now, this is not a paid promotion neither by the brand ESR nor by Spigen. I bought these products with my own money and I'm sharing my honest review here. By the way, Spigen also has its own lens protectors as well for the S24 Ultra. However, as per my research so far, these protectors are not compatible with this case. They just do not fit well. And also because I wanted to try installing the Spigen case with the already installed ESR lens protectors on my phone first. If the these are already compatible with this case then that means I get to save some money here. We'll find out soon enough, fingers crossed. We get a thin rectangular box here from Spigen. I had received this box just like this apart from my home address mentioned on a label here at the front which upon removing seems to have partially removed the plastic film that helps in making these back covers glow on their boxes. At the front we get Spigen branding on the top. This has been drop tested by the brand which is a good thing since I'm not gonna be testing that myself here. Like I said this thing has a kickstand as well, MagFit for the MagSafe technology. In my opinion these two are the highlighting features of this case. Not much of anything on the left, top or right sides of the thing apart from some company and model branding. At the rear we can see that this case also comes with air cushion technology that helps in absorbing impacts which is a must for sure. The price mentioned here is way more than what I paid for it. Which 
which was close to 2900 Indian rupees, which is still quite expensive for a case to be honest. This case does come in one more color option, the blue one, and honestly speaking, the blue one does look really good too and was my first choice. But I don't think I'm ready to spend another 900 rupees just for a different color. I mean, this thing already costs almost the same as all of the ESR products combined that I had bought six months ago, which today are even more affordable, might I add, which is why this black colored case was the go to option, at least in my case, since my phone will be getting the same protection as the more expensive blue colored variant. Anyways, the box itself has a bit of a weird design, as you may have already noticed. We do get the box sealed here at the top, as you can see. However, at the bottom, we get a part of the interior box hanging out a bit without any seal whatsoever. And this is not something I want. Sliding this open, we get access to the back cover, which, you guessed it, can be removed without cutting open the top seal, forcing me to ask the question to the company, why is this seal even here? Literally anyone could have used this case till now, though it doesn't seem to be used at all, which is a good thing, I guess. Perhaps this is just with my back cover box, and if not, then please let me know in the comment section below, I would really like to know what's going on here. In the box, we get a total of two things. Apart from the back cover of course, which we will take a look at in a bit, we get a small quick installation guide. Apparently, we are not to bend the top area of this back cover, probably because it is too weak to handle any sort of bends. I'll have to keep that in mind. And there is also a particular way to install and remove the case. Install from top first and remove from bottom first. Got it. Anyways, the case itself looks really sick. Spigen is known for its premium products which can be seen here as well. In fact, this thing has two separate cases. The outer one has a metallic look to it, though it is mostly made up of polycarbonate material. We can see the model branding on one side of it. The interior is separate and is mostly made up of rubber with proper cutouts for all of the ports and holes of my phone. On the inside, the circular yellow area must be where the MagSafe coil is, I guess, for the MagSafe charger. We can see some branding on the inside as well, along with the air cushion technology mentioned on the top. We also get some rugged texture at three different places. First, near the camera cutouts, second one where the MagSafe chargers would go, and the third one has been given to the power button, which I think is the most useful one for sure. And I can immediately notice that the kickstand given here does not have a locking mechanism like the one we saw on my previous ESR case. This locking mechanism was extremely useful and I would have loved to see this thing here on the Spigen case as well. I really do hope the absence of this lock doesn't cause any sort of damage to the kickstand in the long run once the hinge of this thing starts to loosen up a bit. Only time will tell now. Anyways, let's finally slap this thing on my phone according to the provided installation steps of course. Alright, so now we have some bad news and some really good news. The bad news is that this thing is quite heavy, which can be felt almost immediately after installing it on my phone. The Amazon page from where I bought this case mentions that this case does not support wireless charging, though there is no mention of it on the box itself. And just to confirm this, I tested it on not just one, but three separate wireless chargers including my car charger. While at first it may seem that this case does support wireless charging, but soon we find out that the charging takes place only for the initial few seconds and then it suddenly stops. So yeah, this case does not support wireless charging. The good news is that this Spigen case is a perfect fit even with the ESR camera lens protectors and its tempered glass already applied on my S24 Ultra, which means I get to save a lot of money because now I don't need to buy anything else to protect my phone. Perfect. As you can see, all of the cutouts are perfect and accessible on my phone. Since this is a MagSafe compatible device, it does work with magnetic chargers like this one perfectly as well. The magnetic force is also perfect, as you can see. By the way, I'll soon be reviewing this Minix magnetic charger for my car. This thing is not only a magnetic charger, but it also has an automatic cooling fan that prevents overheating of mobile devices. Very promising device and I'm really looking forward to reviewing it. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications so that you do not miss out on that video. 
Also, the kickstand, as you would have already guessed, works perfectly in almost every angle and is sure to be used every single day. All right, now let's discuss some shortfalls of this Pig & Slim Armor MacFit back cover. And these are just my personal opinions that you may or may not agree with, which is perfectly normal and acceptable. There are just two shortfalls of this case according to me. First one, the kickstand here should have been given the locking mechanism similar to the ESR kickstand. I really think this is a must, but I could be wrong, which we will see in about 6 months from now when I make a long term review video of this back cover. And the second one, even though this case brings so much to the table, I think the price of this thing should be even lower than what it is right now. I don't think this thing should cost more than 2000 rupees. And that is it. I didn't find any other shortfall or drawback or limitation of using this case. I would 100% recommend this back cover to everyone for their phones, especially if you are looking for a MagSafe compatible case. As always, links to all of the products shown till now can be found in the description below. And this brings us to the end of this review video. Hope you found this video informative. I'll catch you guys very soon in the Minix Magnetic Cooling Charger review video. Until then, stay safe and take care. Bye.